In its most crucial moment of the season, Michigan State's men's basketball found a way to get it done. The Spartans came away with a much-needed 53-49 victory against Northwestern on senior night this Wednesday, starting slow and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Wildcats before mounting and holding a slim lead in the final minutes. When it mattered most, the Spartans got the stops, grabbed the rebounds and made the free throws they needed to send their six-man senior class out with a win. The win also went a long way toward solidifying a spot for the Spartans in March Madness. Graduate student guard Tyson Walker shot just 8 for 21 but led MSU with 19 points and again served as the clutch shot maker down the stretch. Walker also reached 2,000 career points Wednesday night, including points from his previous school, Northeastern. Graduate forward Malik Hall had a huge night in his last at the Breslin Center, pitching in 15 points and a career-high 17 rebounds. Known Spartan killer Boo Booey for Northwestern was his usual self, controlling the Wildcat offense all while taking and making big shots. Bui finished with 15 points and hit three triples. Nick Martinelli was effective from start to finish, going for 12 points and 8 rebounds. While Wednesday night was bittersweet, the tension inside the Breslin Center was palpable for all 40 minutes. The Spartans honored six seniors, four regular starters, before and after the game, but the elephant in the room was bigger than senior night. MSU badly needed a win, a self-inflicted punishment after losing to Ohio State and Iowa at home before the team's spring break and then falling at Purdue the following Saturday. The Spartans would be safely in the 68-team NCAA tournament field had they won the two home games, both matchups in which they were favored. Suddenly, MSU's senior night became less about honoring the program's elder statesmen and more about executing on the court and emerging victorious. Northwestern was a different team Wednesday night than when the Wildcats beat MSU by 14 on January 7. They lost guard Ty Berry for the year last month and center Matthew Nicholson was ruled out with a foot injury. Regardless, the Wildcats looked like the better team early on, only adding to the nervous energy inside the Breslin Center. Meanwhile, Michigan State had its worst shooting half of the season at 7 for 32, 22%. Northwestern's Luke Hunger started in place of Nicholson, just his sixth start of the season, and sat with two fouls less than two minutes into play. Martinelli led the Wildcats out of the gate with two contested buckets and strong defense on MSU's A.J. Hoggard and Jaden Aikens. Things were restless in the building early on as Michigan State's offense started an abysmal 4 for 21 from the field. Bowie drilled two three-pointers to mount Northwestern a 17-9 lead, 